does it mean to arise? It means to believe in yourself. To wake up in the morning and look at yourself in the mirror and say, I am not daft. I'm blessed. It doesn't matter what anybody calls me. Because your husband walked away, that does not make you to be inferior. He just lost something. He walked away. He lost. That's what it means to arise. You invest into yourself. If you need to go back to school, you go back to school. I went back for my first degree after four children. I just said to myself, I don't want a time to come when I will no longer fit my husband. Because I noticed that his circle of friends was changing. So I went back to school. And I came out with the best results. So it's important for you as a woman to invest into yourself. That is what it means to arise. Mary arose. That is what it means to be a pillar. You arise. Because if you are not a sound pillar, every load, every weight we put on you will crumble. And many women crumble and crumble and crumble. They crumble emotionally. They crumble in their marriages. They crumble in their career. They crumble in their relationships because they have not invested into themselves. As a single person, enjoy where you are on your way to where you are going. Don't wait till you are married before you are happy. It's a waste of time. Like yourself, wake up in the mirror in the morning, look at the mirror and say, God, you tried. <laughs> Lord, I just want you to know that you spent extra time. <laughs> Father, I just like my nose. I just like my head. I just like my turn. If you wait for people to celebrate you, you will wait for too long. <laughs> Somebody looks at you and says you are too fat. Tell the person, oh. You don't have an understanding of the scriptures. Psalm 92 says the righteous shall be fat. <laughs> Stop looking down on yourself. You are a pillar. Stop belittling yourself. Stop feeling inferior. No woman is ugly. Depending on the packaging. Package yourself very well. Look good. Exercise your body. Make up your face. When you are above 35 and you don't even make up your face, no good powder on you, you are like a house that is not painted. Life takes its toll on you. You may not wear red lipstick like I do, but know what suits you. And dress very well. Don't look 67 at 37. Can't you see your mommy? Every woman must be unpredictable. It is short here today. It is long here tomorrow. It is jeans today. It is short one next one. It is a dress today. It is a long one next time. You must be unpredictable. Predictable. You are a married woman and the only night wear you have is the one you inherited from your grandmother. You can't even repackage. That is what it means to arise. Pillars are not meant to just stay on the floor. You must arise. The Bible says that when she got pregnant, she arose. Help me tell your neighbor, arise. You must arise financially. If the totality of your life as a woman depends on your husband financially, you are a colossal disgrace. A misfit. Or to your husband comes, you cannot give an offering. Or to your husband comes, you can't buy the groceries. Or to your husband comes, you can't bury your grandmother. Something is wrong with your womanhood. You need your own. You must be economically inspired and empowered. Full-time housewife is full-time suffering. PLC. Get it right. Even if your husband is very wealthy and he gives you money, make something out of it. Invest. Even if you must work from home, do something with your life. Write books. I was in Paris to preach. 
They gave me a fat honorarium. But beloved, listen, the books I sold, I was looking for how to carry my money. There's something on your inside as a pillar. Pillars are not meant to be buried. Pillars are not meant to be on the floor. Arise. Some of you can make hair. You let it when you were in Africa. Get your money. Some of you can just babysit. Some of you can tell people, I can decorate your house. Some of you can say, we just need to change a few things. That's my area. I decorate a lot. I don't have the time. My son said to me, mom, you need to found a company. I said, I don't have the time. I just saw the idea and they run with it. There is something on your inside. I hate the symmetry where you have the best of gifts unused, untapped. Many years ago, I told God, I want my mates to be scarce. I don't want a regular anointing. When I meet you, you must thank God. Something, when you relate to me for one year, something must happen to your life. You must rise. Something must happen to you. I don't believe that a woman, when we talk about submission, excuse me, don't let the African culture make us get biblical submission wrong. There are some demonic aspects of the African culture that belittles the woman. Submission is not subjugation. Shut up. Sit down. Come here. It's, it's time for sex. That's the African culture. And there is no marriage in the African culture. I tell you. I don't want to go into that today. Don't believe the lies of the devil. Don't believe the lies of tradition. Don't believe the lies. Oh, what did you give back to a, a girl? I think you feel sad. You should celebrate. You should be happy. God has blessed you. You are a woman like yourself. Believe in yourself. Some of you, you sent money to Africa, to Asia, to wherever you have come from. You can't even afford to eat good meals here. Some people, even if you cut your head, they won't be pleased. So why must you kill yourself because of them? Like yourself, invest into yourself, take care of yourself, drive good cars. Don't be a 12 o'clock Christian, don't be a 6 30 Christian. You must be a 6 o'clock Christian. A 12 o'clock Christian. Day by day, we are marching into heaven, 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 heaven. Everything is looking upward, heaven, heaven, heaven. You are so heaven conscious, you are not relevant to planet Earth. Excuse me, you can't even take care of yourself. Pimples is not a gift of the spirits. Pimples is not a sign that you are holy. Body odor is not a fruit of the spirits. Mouth odor is a sin. 12 o'clock. Heaven, 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 heaven. 6 30 Christian. You are so half conscious. Five hours you are still making up your face. So that's why you run late to church. <laughs> they tell you to come and say there and say, Who is the father of Zachariah? You have no idea. You have no word on your inside. They say, Shall we open to the book of Luke? You are you are still at Genesis. You are open. You are looking for it. Because you are not sound spiritually. You are a 6 30 Christian. It's six o'clock Christian. The longer hand is pointing to heaven. You are heaven conscious. You know one day the Lord will come. But at the same time, you are still earthly relevant. Your husband is going to bed thanking God for you. Your children are blessing the dead. You give back to them. Your community is saying, oh God, that is how to arise. 